Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen and others. Alright. <laughs> ladies so... and Timmy Turner's dad. Hey, that's me. See, I've gotten in such a habit of saying ladies and gentlemen, and I don't know why, but it gets me into trouble because in my office it's literally only women. So I don't know what gentleman I'm speaking to. And then sometimes I'll be hanging out with Thailand and Stephen and I'll be like, ladies and gentlemen, it's like, wait. <laughs> Where are the ladies? <laughs> I guess you could be referring to yourself. In the plural? Sure, why not? Oh, we're in a world of hurt. Mario's here already. I gotta tell the leader. Red Koopa. Oh, I, sh I should refer to myself in the uh, plural. It's from my bipolar disorder. <laughs> there you go. Uh, there's a manic me. There's an oppressed me. <laughs> All right. See, I'm like, I only have evil me and more evil me. There you go. I'm impressed that I actually, like, managed that, because... Depth perception. All right. Um... Mistake! Pick it up at the uh, nearest gas station. That was a poor decision. They just keep it there. Also, that is a fair point, we can't do the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles jokes. is that whenever Cooper attacks him, if they're already, like, active like that, then he won't take any damage. That is the secret. Ah, 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 ah. ah let's see the great Mario get any farther now. I am literally paper. I can slide through those bars so easily. You, uh, don't try and- you still never find your way through this fortress. It, it looks there might be some fun- I see, like, I gotta go! Ouch. Bonk. Okay.
Yeah, you almost had the right idea. You should have attacked the bomb -omb with Mario, that would have lit it up, and then you could have power shelled them both and killed them. Uh... Oh, hey, badge. Pretty sure that shrink stomp. Nope, power bounce. That's like the infinite jumping one if you can do the timing correctly. Or you can keep power jump, close call, and uh, well, you still have a point that you haven't used. If you're gonna use power bounce, you need a lot of time. Also, you are now at critical health. good. He's hit right on the C-stick. No. Button mash! I thought my head was only good for being a hat rack. I don't think you can get that key yet. Yeah, I think I need something to blow that up. Yep. The uh, mysteriously and in intentionally cracked wall. The bomb that you can wall. Okay. That's a lot of boys. What do you have for items right now, out of curiosity? I'd use your power block or your fire flower and then power shell. The bombs are going to do too much damage otherwise. And that should be enough to kill all four of them. Oh, oh, with... oh right, because it's fire, so it just blows them up. That makes sense. I thought it only did that if they were ignited, but nope. Murder. Lovely. Squish.
Yeah. Nope, not yet. Surprise! Lovely. So I'm gonna assume this is a uh, kill all enemies. I'm just gonna keep yep. getting hit by first strike. Nice dodge. Or block, rather. Poke, poke. At least neutral. Yep. I'm pretty sure there's a badge you can get like after chapter three that prevents you getting hit by a first strike. Yeah, I, I recall something like that happening in Because I know most of the badges that are in Thousand Year Door are in this game. Pretty much the only ones that aren't are just ones that are like, they're not applicable to here because the move isn't in this game. But like all the shrink stomp, all the sleep stomps, all the like quake hammer, power quake, those are all still here. Thank god because whenever I played through on my practice run for this, power quake was phenomenal. This is how we're playing it now. I was say, if you're trying to get a first strike on him, usually whenever he notices you, just jump without moving and he'll go under you and land on where you are, like yeah, that. There's a couple of like weird angles that that doesn't work at, but most angles it works at perfectly. Where it just decides, like, nope, I'm gonna go underneath you and pass you, and it's still gonna count as you getting hit by the first strike. Stupid nose. Who needs that anyways? See, that's the worst part is I can't tell if I sound normal because to me I still don't sound normal. Uh, you only sound ever so slightly off normal. If I hadn't known you for a decade, I might not be able to tell yeah. you. I, I sound very off to myself. You don't sound that far off. Just a little. Fire bars! Good thing we uh, practiced with Mario Party 1 for Hot Road Jump. Also, if you jump them enough times in a row, they will disappear and turn into coins. Seriously? Yeah. Like, actually, I'll do oh it right now. I'll do one of them right now. Really? They actually will! Yeah. That seems like such a weird feature to have. Well, remember, uh, Mario Party 1 came out after this game did. By three years. Interesting. Besides, that would also be a really weird thing for me to lie about. I mean, yeah, that would be, but it's a weird thing to have included. <laughs> like, who sat there and was like, I'm gonna jump this enough times that it's gonna... I mean, I did, but that's also because it's, like, even though it's not a platformer as much as, as it is an RPG, it is still a Mario game. So I'm yeah. like, let's just try jumping over this. And then it started speeding up. I'm like, yeah, something's up here. Yeah. 
That feels like a trick. <laughs> Which means naturally I'm gonna go right for it, right? A bomb you can wall, eventually. Oh, thank goodness. Interesting place for a second point, but I appreciate it nonetheless. I just really want to mention again, I love this aesthetic, I love this concept. Oh, it's, it's fantastic. It's so good. Ouch. Good thing I just saved. Yep. Also, you went the wrong way. You're supposed to fall for that trap. I'm supposed to fall for that trap? You actually have to do it in order to finish the level. Uh... First death! First death! Yay! Um, On... Chapter one. chapter one! Yep, yeah. chapter one. I'm not gonna say I'm surprised. I don't remember when your first death was in Thousand Your Door, even if you had any. I'm sure that I did. Because I don't count, no, like, no, no, no. died and brought back by life shroom as a death. It has to be, like, a proper game over. I know for sure that I did on the stupid gladiator bit. Rip. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Loser serves you right. You fell for it. You're absolutely right. Yeah. I look a heart block. That's handy. A place like you and a guy like this? Love that this is free, by the way. Oh, yeah. Just for the record. Hey, buddy. Um, you're a menace. I feel like part of the reason for that is stuff like the stylish commands and whatnot and Thousand Your Door make it easier to keep your health up. And so, like, if you lower it, it's like, okay, yeah, you've been doing a lot of fighting, so you, you probably should have to pay somewhat for that. In this game, like... You can block one point of damage by dodging, and that's it. There is a move, or there is a badge called Damage Dodge, where if you do the action command correctly, you'll block another point of damage, and there's like four of those in the game, but most people aren't going to go with strictly defense on their badge playstyle. I usually do the opposite of that. But now you got Bombette! You can use down on the C-stick to blow things up. Same as you could with Bobbery. The only difference is she can't be thrown like he could. So my question is, why were they waiting? What were they waiting for? Somebody had to pick them up, and they don't have arms. You have to pick them up to put them down. I never thought about doing that before. Oh, I so was so one. mad. I just blew up over and over in one place. Uh... Alright. Oh my god. Hey. Get him! Everybody get him! Hey, get to fight with Bombette! Okay, so. I mean, you're back to full now, and you could just go and heal at the heart block after this if you take too much damage. 
So you can body slam, which is like you hold A and then let it go and then the light gets to the end, and then bomb is just Nash A. <laughs> yeah, like with uh, Thousand Year Door, later on you'll be able to upgrade them to Super Rank and then later on again to Hyper Rank, and so they get additional moves. And all of her extra moves, they're all Mash A. Oh, I forgot how to do that one. Yeah, her additional moves, not the default one. You're injured, you can't move. Spectacular. Yep, that's what happens when a partner takes damage that just knocks them out for... X amount of turns, since I don't have a health bar. That's okay. Kamikaze! No, 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 no. This isn't Dicey Dungeons, sorry. I wonder if Brandon ever finished that game. I doubt it. I'm sure it was spectacular. Well, because I watched uh, Steven plays do a first 20 of it, which is where he plays, like, the first 20 minutes of a game. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, it looks really good. So I played it, and then I showed it to Brandon. He was like, oh, man, this looks awesome. And he got, like, almost all the way to the end of the game. And that was almost a year ago. Oh, my God. <laughs> he was, like, two levels away from beating the game. But then he got distracted with a bunch of other games that came out, as you uh, do when you're a gamer. Yes. The eternal conundrum of the uh, versioning... Game. Four more days till the new Mario Golf! Now. That was it. You did it right. It's just they have defense, so it only did one damage. It's not too terribly bad. There's one other character later on that has the exact same style for their default. And I think most people would probably argue that the best party member you get in the entire game. instead of one, or one instead of zero, depending on if you can block his attack or not. For whatever reason, I'm really good at dodging the bob -ons. For they're, whatever reason. They're not too terribly bad, because they act a lot like the Goombas, if they just, they just run and land on your head. Remember, there were some places you were at before where you did not have the bomb to blow up the walls. Okay, I'm trying to remember all those places. <laughs> uh, it's probably not any this way. Nope. I was just gonna have the fire bars and a dead end that led to a key from earlier, where a key was. Definitely one up and then to the left, right? One yep. floor up and to the left. Because there's the one that was in the room with the fake switch trap thing that was on the bottom. That will lead to, I think, a badge, and then there's this room that's got a couple of them with keys. Is there 
Nope, you already picked it up earlier. That was where power ba power balance was. Oh, yeah. And there's other key that you cannot get currently. I'll blow up a regular wall. Concrete is too strong for explosives unless it's cracked. That's clearly how it works. Can I, can I nope. Say no Bobbery. They will say you get her way earlier than you did Bobbery in Thousand Year Door. Bobbery yes. was like outside of Miss Malice, potentially when you get her the last party member in the game, I think. Admittedly, I actually do not remember what badge this is. The badge of bad badgery. It's probably something useless. Eh. Alright. Good for if you A have a bunch of extra badge points lying around and B are always low on money. But otherwise, eh. Mm. Like there are worse ones out there, but that still ain't that great. Wee. Now you're on top of this area from before, and now you're back down to this area again. I thought that was a... Nope, that was something you already uh... blew up. No, 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 I, I had a, I thought that the gray stripe was extending across it, but now I recognize I need Koopa to hit the red thing, and then it will. Yep. Um. Left. Or down, whichever the two it was. I hit right, because down on the C stick um, does whatever. Oh, their abilities, thing. yeah. And then the other one should be items. Yep. Yeah. Left is items, so right is party. The problem is, like, you sometimes get your left and right wrong, so I don't know if I was actually correct or wrong. No, no, no. no. It, this, is, this is right. Yes. Good job on that 50% guess. Mm -hmm. There we go. I'm sensing a pattern here. Depth perception. That is one of the downsides of the Mario game. <laughs> it can be uh, particular when it comes to depth perception and being as you are made of paper. That is difficult. Yeah, that's why I feel like if we had you do another, like, Mario, like, in the actual series it's a platformer, it would almost have to be a 2D game, not a 3D. With Galaxy, it's a little bit better, because you can at least, like, spin to salvage a jump, but if it's stuff like Sunshine Without Flood, that would be bad. <laughs> okay. I like how they keep walking in place even after they're in the air. Mm -hmm. It's like in Minecraft, whenever you jump and your character's just still running in midair.
It's a really nice sounding kaboom effect. Oh yeah, I really like these sorts of things. Especially that dun 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 dun. I thought you were gonna be like, especially the dogs. I'm like, yes, the dogs are especially great. Especially the dogs. I love it when people don't control their animals and have every capacity to. Mm -hmm. The older I get, the more I feel like I'm glad I'm not, I don't have as little self-control as Brian Heideck, but I totally get why he did what he did. Dog making too much noise? Just shoot it with a bow and arrow. Nope. And now you got a key! Do. Up it up it up it up. Oh wait, that's Luigi's mansion. Never mind. No, that's Bombette. Yeah, there's one party member in particular I have to do that with, and I don't want to because I really like the character, but they're just not very good. In fact, they're the only character that, unless you use an item to power them up. They actually cannot damage the final boss at all. Hmm. Katonk. Who you get next for a party member? I don't think you do get one in chapter two at all, actually. Yeah. Delicious money. Maybe that's why the coins are not worth anything. Is not only is there a lot of them, but they're actually the like, chocolate coins, rather than actual. Delicious. Alrighty. Since these stairs are even bigger than the other stairs, I get the feeling that we're getting semi-close, at least. Right? Yeah, I can at least think of, like, one other room you have to do that has some enemies in it, which would actually be good, because you do want to try to level up right before you get to the, uh, the boss. A badge. And a bomb. Squish. And now time for one of the most useless badges in the entire game! The Smash Charge! When charged, Mario's hammer power goes up by two. So you can take a turn to charge it and then do four damage in one hit. Or just use it twice and also do four damage in the same amount of time. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> As the guy on TikTok goes, make it this far. Don't get smug, pal. You just caught, a caught us off guard. Trust me, we'll mop the floor with you if we get serious. We're as cool as you come. Sure, low-budget Donatello. Yeah, boys, open fire. Wouldn't that be Raphael, since that was the red one? So, Leonardo was usually the leader, and from what I remember, the generally speaking, Donatello, like, wanted to be the leader? I don't know, I never watched any Team NT related stuff. Not the cartoon or the movies. That's fair. Even though my cousin let me all three, and I had it for like a year, just never watched them. I mean, I have all of them as well. But I feel like a lot of it is kind of a nostalgia type of thing, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
Because I'm not going to say that these are good, uh... I feel like I'd watch the cartoon before I watch the movies. He will. He will. It wouldn't let you do that if he. It'd be like you can't use this now. Oh, okay. That was why it didn't let you attack the uh, par troopers with him because they're in the air. Ah. Okay. Okay. Nice dodging. Where the hell you are. <laughs> Near or far, wherever you are. I would say your best bet for this fight in particular, or not. Oh, just kidding. I didn't do it. Yeah, yet. I was gonna say run out, drop Bomb Bet, and then run back and let Bomb Bet explode, and that would count as a first strike, because these have a lot of defense. I would keep the Thunderbolt for sure, and probably the POW block as well, because the Koopa Bros are the boss and they're all Koopas, so that will knock them over onto their backs, because you do fight all four of them at once. Yep. And they spin around like real cannons. I would power shell first on this. Because the only way Mario's going to do damage with normal attacks is the hammer, and he can't hammer anything unless it's the closest object to him. So he wouldn't have been able to get to the Bill Blaster at all. There's one. have a ton of health. Um, no, they only have like five, I think, maybe four. Pretty low. Oh. Now that was the wise choice. Save the FP. Save the FP in case they start shooting more bullets at you like that. And in case anyone was curious, yes, you can only get a maximum of 100 star points per fight, because I have stood there and grinded getting the one star point from a bullet bill over and over until it didn't let me get any more points. Wow. So yes, you can do that. I was also level 2 at the time, so... So, I already leveled this one up. You've already leveled, uh, yes, you start with 5. You've leveled up HP once and FP once. Whenever I played, I upgraded badge points until it wouldn't let me upgrade badge points anymore at 30, and then I started upgrading FP, but I also wanted to make it a little bit more difficult for myself. I think ultimately in this game, the best thing to do is balance them, but that's just me. Yeah, I'm glad that that was all three of them, because I was yep. getting nervous that I was going to have to fight the other two as well. Nope, just the one. I'm awesome. Have the opportunity to do so. Yeah, you didn't actually even need to heal to give you a full heal because you leveled up. <clears throat> nice. Some some games have that whenever you level up, you get a full heal, and some don't. And I never yeah. remember which is which, but I feel like all of them should be. Fire Emblem is particularly annoying with health because if you level up and you get like a point or two in it, you get it on your health bar, but it doesn't actually give you the points. So if you're at like 47 hit points and you get 2 health, you'll be at 47 out of 49 in the next fight. Mm. It's like, what the hell? Hurry, man. Shake a leg. Ow, my shell. Get off. Wait a minute. Whoa. <laughs> oh, for the love of, what are you doing, yellow? This doesn't look cool at all. Context. Hang on, red. Okay, I'm ready, red. I've prepared my ass. Finally, for you. let's do this. Remember to look cool, guys. Did they make Voltron? Yeah. They actually made Voltron. 
Bowser's Voltron, and all it's all coming together. Oh my god. Happy Father's Day, Bowser! It's time for me to beat these foolish ideas out of you, Satan Peach, please. Watch this and weep. Now be the time to use that lightning bolt, by the way. Blip. I am invincible! You are powerless before me. Well... What's the matter with you? This isn't even funny. You can't even touch me. You know what, MC Hammer. Speaking of Hammer. Touch this. Oh no. That costume was perfect. Bowser loved it. Well, of course, it was a thing of Bowser. Mm. You're missing blue. Here come the Koopa Bros. Mario, have a taste of this. The Koopa Bros special super spinning attack. Ouch. Okay. He got blue right there, what are you talking about? Oh, I just realized that Koopa's right there. Nope, it didn't. That's because you gotta knock him over. It's hammer attacks or the shell. Oh, we're going over. <laughs> They've got a bit of style though, I'm not mad at that. This music is so good. Look at that dance! I love the synchro the secret man's dance. PewDiePie would be proud. Padlock! Get pooped on! So for the record, uh, if they get back up into formation and like one or two or three of them is missing, it'll do one less damage when they do the spinning attack. So three will do three, two will do two. I figured. <laughs> they have a little peach portrait inside the Bowser thing. Gotta do something when you're inside a fursuit, I guess. Irony, they're stuck inside the uh, jail. I like how they boarded up, they like lazily boarded up the cracked spot too. Mm -hmm. Just put this here, it's, it's fine. Oh, the Estrella! Side note, uh, can we get some playing cards with the Bowser backs like that? Right? Like now? Right? I want those cards, damn. We've saved a star with a mustache! I was about to complain, like, oh, we've already seen the spinning star card animation, but the rest of it was really pretty, so I actually, like, yeah. preemptively take back my complaint. Also, these rainbow colors are very pretty. They are. And so Mario and friends beat the Koopa Bros at their fortress and rescued the first star spirit. What, like it's hard? 
Nothing's hard when you got a library card. Still, six star spirits remain imprisoned, and they must save them as quickly as they can. We'll get to the it. The future of the Mushroom Kingdom, Starhaven, and of course Princess Peach lives in the hands of Mario and his new friends. Their adventure has just begun. Well, it seems like a damn shame. Now it's time for your favorite part of Paper Mario games. The Peach segments! Yay! And her friend Twink. <laughs> I knew you probably did forget to me. That was the best part. I wonder what Mario is doing right now, Twink. I wonder if he's hurt. I'm so worried about him, Twink. He'll be alright, Princess. Why, I bet he's hurting <coughs> some star spirits right now. Yes, you're right, Twink. I'm just a strong Twink. I need to concentrate on finding a way out of here. Twink, what do you think? But there are tons of guards just beyond your door. And it's impossible for you to escape through the window. I don't hashtag, need this kind of negativity, Twink. Hashtag think Twink. I remember the minister telling me that Much there better. was a secret passage out of this room. Why would the minister know and not you? This is your bedroom, is it not? Twink, help me look for it. I am beholden unto no man. Cool, great idea. Also, I love the music. Yeah, no, like, whenever I said this game reminds me of Lullaby, it's because of the music. Mm -hmm. The music's very lullaby-esque. Oh, I need to actually look for stuff. There's a yep. secret passage. It's there. that door. That door is the secret passage out Absolutely. of here. Absolutely. So big and warm. Oh, like Bowser. Warm fireplace. Don't you find that suspicious? No? Why would that be suspicious? Twink, are you okay? Are you serious? I didn't even look at you. Yeah. It's a peach segment. Did you expect it to be difficult? No, I just... What else can I look at? My dresses. Also, as a side note, like, I get that it was behind the fireplace, but it's still not suspicious that the fireplace was warm while it was lit. It's really not. Like, it's a fire. What? <laughs> I'm more concerned that there wasn't anything to prevent, like, a log falling out into her room or whatever, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, you think so. A soft and comfortable bed. See, this is pretty. This is pretty. It is. I love this. Like, I like the lighting effects, now. yeah. The lighting effects oh really God. good, too. Fantastic. Graphics only possible in 2001. On, by the way, the Nintendo 64 originally. Like, we're playing this on the Wii Virtual Console, but this is how it looks on the N64. <clears throat> Alright, in retrospect, there was really only one place that it could be. Yeah. Oh, ho, ho. And nobody noticed this? Or heard it? What kind of room is this? This is not... Great. It's a diary! Mm -hmm. Day ooh! Today I went to Starhaven and stole the Star Rod. This isn't Bowser's diary, is it? <laughs> Bowser, please forgive me. No, I'm invincible. Cool. I also captured those seven star spirits so they won't annoy me anymore. It was a hard day's work and I'm feeling pretty bushed. Dinner was nice, but a bit bland. I feel like I might know the person who wrote this. Should we read more? He's never met Bowser, though. Okay, let's continue. Zero out of X. Month. Meh. Cloudy, then sunny. Today was great, Diary. I used my castle to lift Princess Peach's castle way up into the sky. Then I barged into Peach's castle and beat up Mario. Yeah, unbelievable, I know. So fun. And there's more. Honestly, like, English professors would be having a stroke at how many exclamation points there are in this so far. At least he's spelling words correctly. Most people probably would miss unbelievable. That's Which weird. is really sad. And there's more. After that, I kidnapped Princess Peach. I couldn't be happier, Diary. I hope she likes me. Are we not... Does nobody ever, like, want to talk about, uh... Nope. 
Okay. <coughs> Mark my words, I will get the last of that shit out of my throat. Never. Well, the Koopa Bros got beaten by Mario Diary. He even set free the stupid star spirit I kept there. I'm so mad I can barely write. Oh, I'm Mario. I'm so big and strong and good and helpful. I hate him, but I'm not worried. There's no way Mario can save the star spirit being held in dry, dry ruins. And I'm going to write it in big red ink. More red ink. Uh, to do that, he'd have to solve the mystery of the sands and then find dry, dry ruins in dry, dry desert. As opposed to the very wet desert. Yep. How would he even know to go to the desert anyways? Well, perhaps... Because it's World 2. That's why. World 2 is always the desert. Yeah. In fact, I'm so calm I'm going to go to bed now. One of the revered star spirits is being held there. Twink! What is that face he's making? Uh, uh, I don't know, but it's living in my nightmares now. Look at that potty oh, dance. Mario, right away. Yes! Rip. I can't believe I left my secret diary lying out. It would be so embarrassing if somebody read that thing. What? What's the princess doing here? Ah, you little sneak, you read my diary. King Bowser, is there a problem? You're the worst guards to ever take Prince Peach back to room me and straight away for your dessert. Yeah, y'all suck. For real. No, let me know. I would also feel very uncomfortable if I were being held that way. Also, still that, that weird face he was doing in those. Whatever. It's the face you make when you have anxiety gas. Mario, I believe you'll save us all. Well, that's a shame. That's your problem. From the bottom of my heart, I appreciate all you've done. Thank you. Since you freed me from my prison and see all my power is broken, I will recover it little by little. As long as an ounce of power remains in me, I shall help you. What about, like, half Olay. an ounce? What about a teaspoon? Mario can now use the star spirit power in battle. Hooray! Do you want to tell me about it, or do we want to have him tell You probably want me to do it, because it will be faster. Okay. Absolutely not. Now fuck off. You must save the other star spirits carefully. I'm, I'm working on it. Ugh. You'll be watching over us. Thanks, Grandpa. Thanks, Grandpa from Stardew Valley. Okay. I know the answer to this one. It's Goombario, right? Yes, obviously. It's always Goombario. Oh, is this it? FP plus. Nice. Yep, oh, just for badge. Me. I just remembered. We're out here with more badges. Um, I think I'll probably go with HP plus for now, and then depending on how things go, I may switch to feeling fine. Yeah, I would probably switch to feeling fine whenever you get back to Toad Town. Because you're going to start hitting the point where things are going to start trying to dizzy you. Okay. I've always found HP and FP plus to be kind of weird because it's essentially like not wanting to commit to the level up bonus of HP or FP of like you have it but you could just switch it back to the badge points at any time because you could just take it off and get the badge points. Am I wrong in where I need to go? You just fall back off of that part right there. 
Doink. So the way that the star power works is something we'll find out whenever your party member's done because uh, your party member can't use it. So if you go down to where the star is, is uh, you can focus at any time to add. It's essentially the uh, cheering to the uh, the crowd from Thousand Year Door to get more star power, and then each time you save a star spirit, you get a new ability. Nice. So it gives you HP and FP by five, gets rid of poisoning and shrink. I have never had shrink be a problem, and poison isn't too terribly bad in this game, so it's more for the health and the FP. And then, of course, the power tells you how many star units of star energy you need in order to use it. I think the biggest one is three? Maybe four? didn't tickle. And like with Thousand Year Door, there's not a uh, not a lot of badges that affect the star gauge. I think the only ones you get are Deep Focus, which lets it, whenever you use it to charge, you get a lot more than you do normally, where it charges like three quarters of a bar instead of a quarter. And then one that lets your party members also focus. Wiggly, wiggly, wiggly. I like how you can tell they're evil just because they wear sunglasses and that's it. <clears throat> Absolutely. Ugh. <laughs> Oh, much better. Whenever I blew my nose just then, I was like, for a split second, I'm like, did I just burst my eardrum by doing that? Uh... And I know what that feels like, because I used to get ear infections all the time as a kid from swimming, and I burst my eardrum on my right a couple times before. Jesus. At the Health Science Center, if you, uh, like, use one of the little things to look at my ear, if the students look deep enough, you can actually still see the scarring on the inside of my ear. Thank you. 
You hit that switch that's over there. Later, nerds! Bye, guys. Shame if someone were to uh, kill all the go immediately. That was where the lightning bolt was. Oh, so I don't need to do that again. Oh, uh, none, because he had defense. And now it's two. And now they're dead. Dead, but I'm different. You've saved a lot more star points for defeating these guys. Yep, but you've leveled up since then. Hi, Cooper. Rip. Oh, there he is. He teleported. Sam. He's fine. I don't think I need any. Nope, you're full. It's genuinely fun. It also helps that having the uh, the star power makes it a little bit easier to intentionally expend uh, FP. Because I think it's actually the only star spirit power that actually gives you FP. I don't think the rest of them do. Second one doesn't, third one doesn't, fourth one doesn't, fifth doesn't. Yeah, none of the other ones do. Oh, never mind. What was I thinking? You do get a party member in Chapter 2. I totally forgot about that character. It's pretty you thought highly of them. I actually used them a lot in my last playthrough, that's the sad thing. Just because it's the first party member that's kind of effective against both air and ground enemies. Because Gumbari is okay for air enemies, but like not too terribly strong. And Cooper and Bombette are useless against air enemies. <clears throat> Bombette has a move that can attack all enemies, but it's not until she gets to hyper rank, and you can't get any character to hyper rank until after chapter 5 or 6. So. It's a good long while. It's a hot second. That works. That wasn't what I meant to do, but, uh. I wonder if that video is still on my YouTube page. This particular area reminded me of something. Let's see if I can find it. Told you this guy would come back. Bye! Rip. He will be missed by all. That's a lie. I see this fight will be much different from before. Alright. 
There's a new skill. He can hide in his egg. It's brilliant. Beautiful. Yeah, so essentially he just has, like, an extra point of defense, and that's it. Yeah. Not too terribly tough. Exciting gameplay! Pun intended. Right? Have you ever blown an egg up with a bomb before? Or like a firecracker? No. It's a lot of fun. Also, he died. Totally worth it, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> but there's one more thing you get to do. Is now you can beat him up on the overworld. Just smash him with a hammer, jump on him. <laughs> Beating up children! He's a bully. He should've known better. It's true. Cool. Just in time to get twinked! Oh, it's the twink. Remember me? I heard you save the honorable star spirit. Yeah, damn sure I did. Now you can do it. You're on your way. Thanks, bro. This means a lot coming from a twink. And enough celebration for now. I come bearing important news. Dry, dry desert, dry, dry ruins. You gotta, you gotta get fucking get that star. He's got some soulless fucking eyes when they zoom in like that. Right? <laughs> Yikes. Bye. Bye. All right, so you have a couple things available to you now that uh, the chapter one is done. Ha having some problems there? Yes. <laughs> I was standing on the shadow. So the two things you have accessible to you is if you go just slightly south of where you are. <clears throat> right there, the bad shop is now open. And you will be going whether you want to. Yes. This is not a choice. I would grab that right one, Speedy Spin. Right. 
And if you don't want the others, you can do that if you want. So multi-balances, like you jump from one end to the other, D-down pound will do damage and uh, negate defense. Or not negate defense, but it will negate defense for the next attack they get hit by. Uh. It's not piercing, but it will negate it for next round. I'm not big on that one, but eh. <clears throat> Alright. So yeah, the, the big thing for speedy spin is like using the L button to uh, to slide to get farther distances. It lets you go way farther. Nice. <clears throat> and now you can take out all of the mushrooms you have because the other thing we're gonna do, well, all except the super, just the regular ones. So the other thing that is unlocked is if you go one screen to the right and then one screen down, that's left. Remember, jump at the end of it to negate the part where it stops. And that house on the left right there is where you can go to cook like you could in the last game. So this is now accessible. <clears throat> Her name is Tasty! It's a joke! So cook up all your mushrooms. For the time being, she can only cook with one item. Later on, after Chapter 4, she'll be able to cook two items to combine them together. But now, that mushroom that gave you five gives you six and also two FP. Nice! So most of the recipes with one aren't too terribly good. You just burnt that, by the way. Because you mashed. Mm -hmm. Which means now you get everybody's favorite Breath of the Wild item. The mistake! <laughs> and people thought Breath of the Wild was the first game to do that. No. Meanwhile, back in 2001, those of us with taste... I know the other big one you're going to want to do is the Koopa Leaf. The Koopa Leaf is really good by itself, too. <clears throat> and I think the Goom Note as well is pretty solid. What happens if I cook the mistake? It's just going to make another mistake. It's called a house fire. <laughs> it's called insurance fraud and arson. Okay, and you said the other thing is the leaf. I think both the leaf and the goom nut. Alright. So the Koopa leaf is normally 3 FP. And now... It's 7. Nice! So it more than doubles it. And it's really easy to get the Koopa leaves as well. So from 3 FP... I believe this is either 5, 7, or maybe even 10. It is 10. The Nutty nice. Cake. That's why a lot of people also stock up on those before they leave and then just, like, check them all when they get to Toad Town is because that's a really good FP charge move early on. So now we can go here. Which is the sewer! Yep. And unfortunately, you're gonna want to switch to Goombario for this. As he is the only party member for this upcoming fight that can actually do any damage. Also, you should probably heal before you get in that fight as well. So you I want to go back outside. The, North. And then to the right. The Toad House slogan is refresh your body and soul. Oh. Oh, this was fun. I'm gonna take a nap now. No pillow. Don't need it. Nope. Who needs pillows anyways? Don't need pillows when you're all mushrooms. 
To be fair, with how loud my folks were most of the time, I had a pillow that was over my head, not underneath it. I'm also- I also sleep with literally three pillows under my head, and then one that I cuddle with, so, like, I am high maintenance, I guess. I have a bunch, but I only ever, like, actually use one. Alright, the us words. The depth perception. Yep. The toilet. So there's only one direction you, you can go, because you cannot break that, and you cannot get rid of the little wooden axe there either. That'd be the other direction. Oh. Okay. <laughs> That's green. <coughs> and I am... I thought that that was supposed to be the water. Nope. Because I'm just... Colorblind as shit. Um, as a side note, if your urine is that color, please go to the doctor. It is not, I assure you, but... Well, it's sewer water, so... Now you're fighting Gloombas. They have seven health. What? Are you serious? No, they have seven. Really, just more health and a tiny bit more damage, that's about it. It's a Gloomba! Yeah, seven health! But you didn't believe me! No, I want the damage card. I think he's down to one. Nope, two. Squish. I didn't believe you. I mean, okay, I Dizzy Dial. Those are actually okay. They seem to be more effective than the other items of like, this has the potential to put all enemies to sleep or whatever it does. You're not hitting A. There you go. You're hitting it to where he was jumping high enough. There's a fake item there. There's an enemy there. Or a hidden item, rather. Just to the left of that box you just destroyed. Also, you probably want to go ahead and kill that guy because you're close to a level. You're at like 94 star points. <clears throat> also, probably not a bad time to switch to Cooper unless you want to get the tattle first. I think they also have seven. I'm pretty sure all the Galoombas have seven. <clears throat> Kind of like how the originals all have two. Like, if they have wings, great. If they have spikes, great. They still have two health. Probably gonna want to use either an item or your refresh.
And squish. Nice. Okay, so I've upgraded all three, so I guess I'm back to HP. Oh, also back to Good Mario, too. Since you're about to get in the fight. How do you feel about bloopers? It's a blooper! Max HP 30, attack 3. <clears throat> you have to wonder how they float in the air like that. Pretty oh, unremarkable, that's... has more health than the first bosses all combined together. So he'll land on your head like that, or he, he will shoot ink at you, which will damage you. <clears throat> The ink is admittedly hard to time, like, blocking-wise. Ouch. So the double bounce is really hard to time here. Well, that's because you're mashing it. There you go. I think this is the first fight Goom Mario has been in, not counting tattling, since you got Cooper. Yeah. Thanks. No. Yeah, don't feel bad about using items on this one, because this is essentially like the toughest thing that you fought thus far. I mean, yeah. There is a tougher one down here, but we can't even access it right now, so we don't have to worry about it. <clears throat> and even if we could, we'd probably want the next party member first. Because they're really good about negating one of his specials. Where he electrifies himself. Also, it's not the best way about uh, of going about making money in the game, but there are a couple items that if you have that refund badge from the castle, if you buy the item and then cook it and then use it in battle, the refund actually gives you more than the item was worth that you bought. So you could buy it for like five and get eight coins off of it. <clears throat> Boink. And now he's dead. Oh, Hooray! Thanks. We probably killed an endangered species. Yeah. But we got a badge for it, so it's fine. Totally worth it. 
The Shrink Stomp, not very good. It's more for the star points than anything, though. So yeah, if you jump on somebody with that, then it will shrink them for a set amount of turns, which means they will do less damage. Yep. There's really one other, only one other thing to do in town, and it is directly to your right. Is a little bit south, actually. Thought I was directly to your right. Is he hanging around out here? Yep, there he is. That dude right there. That little flower. Puff. Well, hello there. My name is Bubbled. You came from a flower field, the wonderful land of flowers. I love to spread the wonderful flowers and flower fields all over your land. So you're saying you want to reproduce? You like flowers, don't you? Of course you do. Who doesn't? For this reason, I'll entrust this to your care. Probably anybody that's it. allergic to flowers. It is a flower seed that fits well care for a beautiful flower will bloom. These flowers are delicate. Only one with a loving heart can make them bloom in beauty. No wonder I kill everything I grow. <laughs> Please take good care of it, for beauty is fragile. Alright, I'll chuck it into the ocean. Yes! So yeah, if you head one screen north from here, there's a gardener. Hey. Yep. So she is looking for four bulb seeds that you'll get periodically throughout the first half of the game. And these don't seem important until you realize that door leads to chapter six. This is oh. actually required, and I didn't realize that in my first playthrough. Oh no. Yeah. And the one that I missed was in the middle of a forest maze. Oh. And I was like, really? I have to go all the way back? Uh, sucks. Gotta find my way through this whole thing again. Alright. Okay, so now we can actually head to chapter two, so from here, just keep going south. Yeah, we got a pig farm. Just a weird way to make items that costs a lot of money. So what you can do is if you go over where that little yellow bar is that's got the, the pig, like the actual house itself, you can pay 10 coins to make an egg appear. <clears throat> and then you can hatch the egg. And after you get 10 pigs in there, because the, it'll roll down the hill and then they'll go in the little fenced off area. If you put an eleventh one in there, the first one runs off and leave behind an uh, will leave behind an item, and you can go pick it up. But when you walk in, it will scare all the pigs away. So it has to be an item that you want really badly. Weird. So effectively, it costs one hundred and ten coins to get a good item if you get a good pig on the first go around. If not, it will be potentially more. Yikes. All right. So but for we're now. Going to the train? Yep. Yep. I'm ruined, done for, a huge block is rocking the train tracks. Or a huge rock is blocking. Rocking. What the a huge block is blocking the train tracks. <laughs> Lake Peach's castle was uprooted one of the boulders. The boulder. From that stack. From that stack? Rolled off and landed here. What bad luck. Alright. Uh. So blow it up! Alright. Oh, 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 oh. I know, I know. Um, I'm gonna click the wrong button first. <laughs> I'm gonna use a super shroom, that'll blow it up. Absolutely. So, for the record, for the, the pigs, uh -huh. uh, all the different types, there's a tiger stripe on, which will give you a thunder rage, which does five damage to all enemies. Uh, generic pink is a fire flower, you already know what that does. A black one is a dried shroom, you already saw what that does. Uh, one with the flower pattern is a maple syrup. White is a super shroom, which is 10 health. Uh, a shroom one is a life shroom, which is the, if you die, it brings you back with 10 health. A star pig is a shooting star, which is six damage to all enemies. 
Question Mark is a Repel Gel, which will make you invincible to attacks for a turn. Silver is a Jam and Jelly, which is 50 FP, and Gold is an Ultra Shroom, which is 50 HP. Damn, alright. Are we going to Mount Rugged? Yep. Alright. All we needed was the, uh, the bomb in order to unlock that. <clears throat> I like how I shoot that stars. Oh yeah, that's fun. Also, that bell is floating on nothing. Yep. The string was too expensive. We had to, we had to get rid of it. Yep. So that happens when you only have room for two passengers. If the mystery is why it's dry, I think it's because it's a desert. Bet you dollar. Mount Rugged, Mount Rugged, how did you get all the way over here? Checking the bushes, you get an egg! Yay! As, as you do, you just stick them in a bush. An egg of unknown origin, which means I'm gonna eat it naturally. Yeah. As far as I know, that's the only place you can get an egg in the entire game. Mm. Oh, that's how handily has this little arrow here. <laughs> like, hey, go this way. I still can't get rid of. Yep, you need a stronger hammer for that. Thanks. Ken found it. Where could it be? Remember this guy? He was in the intro. Ouch. He was the guy that brought the letter. Indeed. Sorry, folks. Very sorry. I was looking for something and not watching where I was going. That much was obvious. What now? Aren't you Mario? Why, you are. You're the Mario. Hello there. My name is Paracary, I deliver letters. Um, I'm normally a letter-perfect postman, but I'm having a bit of trouble with a lost letter. Wouldn't you know it, I dropped it on Mount Morgan and now I can't find it. If you happen to stumble upon a letter anywhere around here, please tell me, alright? My job could depend on it. I'll be searching this area thoroughly for a while. I really hope it wasn't somebody's, like, bill or something. Well, the worst part is he lied. He didn't lose a letter on the mountain. He lost three letters. Oh my god. Yeah. Wee. He lost a lot more than three total, but only three on the mountain. Whee! Like, on the one hand, what was the point of that, but on the other hand, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> that was fun, I want to do it again! Yay! I kind of was a little guardrail, too. Yeah, right? A little bar. Boink. It's a Monty Mole! Squish. <clears throat> so yeah, they're not too terribly bad. They have three health and they throw rocks. Yay! As you do when you're a mole. Dig, dig, dig. Yeah. 
Ouch. Like that. For whatever reason, that threw just much faster than I was anticipating. Yeah, I know. I was expecting like a little eh, and the sound was it's like, like ah! at the speed of sound. Which, to be fair, if you were throwing things at somebody, you were throwing things at them. That's, that's, that's about the speed you would want. That's fair. Yeah, that would probably go through them. Yeah. That is so cute. I'm Micah, uh, just another picture perfect day. The sunshine, the fresh air, so refreshing. Wackadoo. Is that it? Nope. I'll see if you can figure it out. You already have everything you need, like, right now, though. You don't have to even move out of this area. <clears throat> Is it his egg? Nope. It is not an item. You're getting closer, though. Got a Wacka's Bump. Restores 25 HP and 25 FP. Uh, but the problem is, you only get eight of them, I think it's eight, in the entire game. After that, he leaves and does not come back. Money moles. be coughed out and stuck in my lungs for all eternity. Yep, you would. As somebody who's gotten it 36 times. Not, I've only gotten pneumonia once. <laughs> I've gotten bronchitis annually. <laughs> <laughs> that number is actually pretty close to 36, all things considered. <clears throat> it's over halfway. It is a substantially higher number than most people's. Yes. Which is probably going to be either 1 or 0. And we're not counting my dad's fake bronchitis. That he didn't stop pretending that he had until I stopped calling him Randall and started calling him Bronk all the time. Which is great because I could do shit like every time he put his car in park, I could go pull the lever, Bronk! Oh my god. Okay. Death. Death to the moles. 
Death to the women, death to the children, death to all. I can't get up there. Nope, not yet. I wanted to go down the slide. There's a badge. I see the badge. Can't reach it yet, though. Do 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 do. But luckily, you can reach that letter. Now you can take it back to the guy. This one. I think you actually have to to progress. Alright. Or you can commit an offense and open it. Yes. That actually happened while I was pet sitting for my uh for my mom, because she was like, Yeah, don't worry, we've got a, a bunch of canned cat food and then like two days in I'm like, Yeah, you're out of cat food. And she's like, oh, didn't you open my mail to get all the cat food? I'm like, no, because that's illegal. That's a federal offense. Yeah, and I'm not going to do that without your permission. Oh, so you actually have to do go get all three. Yay! <clears throat> oh, hey, guess who respawned? Did they all respawn? Probably. <clears throat> then I may not put as much intense focus in killing all of them. As, uh, Grenade! Although, it is good for grinding It is, yeah. <clears throat> it's not bad for grinding bullets. It's not a lot of... I mean, I guess two's not that bad when you're fighting in groups of typically two or three. If it was one, I'd be like, yeah, forget it. <laughs> it shall be purged one day. One day. Huh? Do you have Sudafed? Nah, I got Mucinex, though. It's not gonna work. I mean, you can use them both together. I know, but Mucinex is the one I had on hand, so... I haven't taken one in a bit, but... I always keep Sudafed on hand, because A, it's what they prescribe me every time that I get bronchitis. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you might as well have so it on hand, point, right? I'm just used to it. Um, but, like, you can use it with Mucinex, and it helps like, thin out the mucus so you're not stuffy, and then the mucinex gets rid of the mucus. So you're not stuffy and gross, but, um... Well, the issue right now is literally just getting it out, so it's the mucinex side of things.
That was a halfway decent purge. Not as good as Lectioneer, but like Purge Anarchy level of, of pretty good. I remember being so impressed with the Purge series, but the problem was, was that I marathoned the entire Purge series Ooh. that was out at the time, and so now I absolutely cannot distinguish One any the of other. the chaos. Like, it was just chaos and insanity and murder one after the other. Also, props to James A. For Janice uh, on YouTube for doing it the kill count for all of those movies. Oh my god. Yeah. That's... Yeah. I think Gosh. it's election year, but like he does an average two on like runtime compared to how many deaths. And there's one that has like a death every seven seconds. <laughs> yeah. Because it's got like a stupid amount of kills. I think it is currently the record for the one that has, like, the movie that has the most kills that he's done. Because it was Belko Experiment for, like, a really long time, and then I think eventually Election Year took it. It might have also gotten overtaken by a different zombie movie that it was. There's a really high body count for because there's a lot of background bodies. Do zombies count as bodies? If it's a person, if it's a person that you see like in the background get bitten and infected, then yes. Like even if you don't see them die on screen, if they get like bit in the neck, it's pretty safe to say they're gonna die. So. Okay, but would you say this is a? Uh... This is a side argument I've or not argument, but discussion I've had with time. So we watched um Dink. Um, crap. Dink. Crap. Yep. You need either Bombette or Bail. Uh, or an item. Pow blocks work really well against this guy. But we watched uh, Army of the Dead, um, which is a new movie on Netflix, and it's got with David Bautista and a couple other people in it. Like, I mean, that's massively understating. Like, I just don't remember a lot of the actors' names off the top of my head. Um, and so, um, um, explode. Okay. Also, no, we did not hunt the whack into extinction. Just, just the one kill for now, because we were full on items. Mm. There's another bull bulb seat up there, but you cannot reach it currently. <clears throat> like he'll, he'll leave you alone until you, you get close to him. So, There's no reason to go over there anywhere oh. right now. Yeah, any rock that looks like that, it's an enemy. They all look like that. You gotta go a little bit further, bud. Or walk, like, walk as the bomb is walking and lure him towards the explosion. Oh, god. Or get hit. You're gonna, have to you're, you're, you're gonna have to recharge your FPD's bomb next round. His bomb is three. So it's either the tea, the cake, or the, the syrup, any of them do. Man, I'm really running really low on my abilities. Good thing I got a packet of maple syrup with me. Ryan. <laughs> Chug that down. Delicious. But we were watching, um, the... You baked it, remember? To the mistake. I had three troopers. You used the other one. When you were fighting the blooper. 
Yep, you did. I don't keep track of it. Well, we watched uh, Arcadia Undead and one of the characters at the end, because we all made bets on who, how many people would survive to the end of the movie. No. It's an ice movie. The answer is no. Um, oh, it's a ice movie, never mind. And, because um, it's ice with zombies in it. And, um,. And so Thailand bet that there would be um because he bet there would be three, I bet there would be no, he bet there would be two, I bet there would be three, and Steven bet that there would be four. And um oh no. I should know this by now. Yeah you should. I'm just gonna go this way. I didn't need anything that way, right? I probably did. You did, but I think you have to go this way too. And that's the last screen to the right that you can do without getting all the letters back, but there's a letter on that screen, so... Anyways, and so at the end of the movie, um... <laughs> I don't know why you can't figure this strategy out. I don't know either. <clears throat> Tell you what, I will, I will explain how I, I think it will work if you, uh, if you run into another one of those, which you will, because there's one on the screen to the right of here. <clears throat> Though he's in a bad spot to try to pull that strategy off, but we'll see. Anyway, but at the end of the movie, um, there's to be big, just a handful of people that survive. But one of them has been bitten and, you know, is in the process, like, a, they're in the process of turning, but they haven't turned yet whenever the movie ends. And so I don't, like, it's one of those things where technically... Well, it depends on your bet, because from, like... From a storytelling perspective, in his story, because his story keeps going even after the movie ends, then yes, he's dead. Well, exactly, because that's what I was saying. So it depends on if you're saying how many people die in the movie, because in the movie, no, he did not die in the movie. But in his story, yes, he absolutely died. But also how many people survived the heist, technically he does not survive the heist. Also, he shouldn't have survived the heist in the first place, because it's a whole story, but... He quote unquote s survived the film in terms of surviving being not dead yet. Ah, my bad. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Our Lord and Savior, Bombet. And rocks. Time for a level up. Sweating nervously. All right. But yeah, technically, I don't feel like he's paralyzed. But anyway, it was the whole thing. Well, because some people, in terms of like, in that terms of survival, are like. I did it. <laughs> if they if they like got out of the actual heist, like let's say they escaped the armed robbers, whatever. Like use payday for an example. Like you get into the escape van and get out, but you're like bleeding out and going to die. Like you technically escaped. You didn't escape with your life completely because you're gonna die. 
in that hypothetical, you can't be, you know, brought back with the jaws of life or anything. Mm -hmm. So y you escaped, but not survived. Yeah. Oh, hey, Monty Mole. Well, now he can try jumping on him, I guess. I'm pretty sure his defense is a zero when he's flipped over like that. Yep. <clears throat> I love how this is here for no... Oh. You were saying? Chest. Got a B edge. The damage dodge. If you block something successfully, you'll block two damage instead of one. Nice. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least it's just the one guy. I think if you jump on top of that block, you just hit with your hammer and then jump again, there might be something there. Just, like, with gray button. There you go. I could be wrong, though. I honestly don't know. Oh well. Guess not. Yeah, that's what you have to do. You just have to, like, time whenever you walk towards him with Mario. Oh, hey. I'm not timing this well. Mm. He's just too damn fast. There you go. There we go. That took too long. The other upside to doing that, too... Is you don't have to use the FP. Exactly. Which means if there's just one, you insta-kill them, or if it's like them and a bunch of money moles, you don't have to waste more FP. Yeah. Or if there's multiple, you're not taking as much damage, or potentially none. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> nice. Nope. All right. So, slide? Yep. <laughs> just stands up and his ass on his jeans yeah. is just missing completely. Pretty much, yeah. Got the letter. <clears throat> that is number two, correct? Yes. Okay. So now we keep heading right. I caught myself. Without you having to say anything. I'm just gonna, like, stop saying anything, and then you're gonna go back to the start and be like, oh. <laughs> Nothing quite like going down a metal slide on a hot Texas day. Oh. That hurts. <laughs> just thinking about it. <coughs> Anybody that lives in the South knows exactly what I'm talking about. <clears throat> Rip all you Arizona kids. Yeah, they're like... 
wounding entire layers of skin behind yeah. all the stupid sleds at this point, I bet. They get glued, like, adhesively to the slide if they sit there too long. At this point, it's basically child cruelty to let them go out on a playground. <laughs> Okay. You just drop down. Yeah, you just drop down. Okay. Whee! I hate one of those guys. there was a defend command, but I guess not. No, you can do it by, like, being able to press A at a certain time. No, I mean just, like, straight up defend where basically for the, you, oh. like, give up your turn and then it automatically takes off the damage for every attack that hits you. But I guess that's not in this game. I could have sworn it was, though. I thought I used it a few times. Oh, well. So that's the third and final letter, so now you can take them back to the, uh, the paratrooper. Yeah, I'll admit, I'm not the biggest fan in the world of this area. Yeah. It's not- it's still not as bad as Bogley Woods, though. Yeah. Usually, usually I'm a big fan of the simplistic music and the repetition, but when you're in a desert area, it can mean death. <laughs> yeah. Because if it's all just the same colors and just the same look and the same four chords, you know... He found himself reading the same sentences over and over. Exactly. He found himself reading the same sentences over and over. He found himself reading the same sentences over and over. He found himself reading the same sentences over and over. That's still one of my favorite lines from any book ever. It's just like a page full of that. Mm -hmm. In before the funny mental image of Bomb uh, Bombette tumbling over, she slides down the slide, and the the friction causes her fuse to get lit. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm seriously just having an absolute garbage time navigating this. Area. I mean, you're going the right way. Am I? Yeah, you just need to keep going left. They trick okay. you they yeah, trick you with the slide pass because there's two ways to go to the left. There's an upper left area and a lower left area. You'd have to go lower left. But the problem is to get the letter that's on the left, you have to go upper left. <laughs> Yay! Alright, I wish there was some way that I could repay you for your help, actually, to be honest. I have just left or something not very good. I may have sort of dropped some all over Mushroom Kingdom while I was flying. You're definitely getting fired. Uh, you know, you're good at finding letters. Do you think you can keep an eye out during your travels? Sure. Right as it starts, I wasn't looking forward to having to find all those letters myself. You will not regret this. I almost certainly will. Okay. So. So, Paracurry has a couple things. Is one... You actually can deliver the letters to people. Uh, it will tell you who the letter's for. Mm -hmm. So, like, the first thing you got was, like, Merlin, the wizard guy that was in Toad Town. Mm -hmm. So, if you talk to Merlin while Paracarry is out, then he'll initiate a conversation after Mario's done talking to him. Nice. We're gonna be like, oh, I'm Paracarry, I've got a letter for you. <clears throat> and his other abilities... We'll show it right here. Yep. His yeah, skydive, which is kicking at me. Which is where he'll go up into the air and then he'll, like, go on a diagonal, so you hit A as he's coming down. Mm -hmm. 
And then definitely the better of the two is Shell Shot. Because Shell Shot does like five damage, I think. Four damage. So you hold back on the left, and then whenever you can line up where the target's gonna go, then you can fire it at him. Ugh. Gross. I was never good at timing his on my first playthrough, though. I distinctly remember that. Yeah, his timing, I can already tell, is a bit wonky. But this is the first character that can both attack air enemies and ground enemies, because both of those can hit an air or a ground enemy. Both of those attacks can. Nice. <coughs> So much flavor. Tastes the rainbow. Rainbow tastes like snot. Yeah. And then of course the other thing you can do is a lot like with uh, the Yoshi in Thousand Year Door, you can cross gaps. Okay. You're not gonna be able to make that though. Damn. You weren't close enough and you were too far forward to the screen. Now you get an old, an oldie but a goodie, the Quake Hammer. Yay! Damage is all enemies on the ground and ceiling, and if they're anything like the clefts or anything with the shell, it will flip them over. I know that I love that one in Thousand Year Door. Yep, it is in this game, and like with Thousand Year Door, there is a, a Super Quake for, I think, 4 FP that does even more damage. Squish. Yeah, that was my bad. I did not mean to jump on him, I wanted to jump over him. Well, Shell Shot will work here. If you can t uh, aim it correctly. Ta da! Because, like with Cooper being invincible while he's in the shell, it's the same thing for Paracarry for that. I don't find him to be that great towards endgame, but like early to mid game, Paracarry's one of the better party members. I would say up until the party member you get for Chapter 4, like, he's probably the one to, to most likely use. Because as much as I love the party member in Chapter 3, they just do not do it damage-wise for me. Stop. Here, take my seed. No thanks. Absolutely not when you phrase it like that. Where else? Uh, take the slide to the left. Oh, I want to jump on him. I want to jump over him. I will say it's also easier to use Shell Shot on bigger targets because it actually makes the cursor, like the target that you can hit, is actually a lot bigger. Oh yeah. Like Blooper, it's super easy to hit Blooper. Oh, I'm sure he's absolutely <clears throat> massive. There's a couple enemies in the game that you actually cannot miss Shell Shot at all. Mm -hmm. Because they're just so big. It's not always bosses, sometimes, but not always. Ah! Ow. Stop it. Not much. Eh.
Look at all that money. Look at all that mole. the button and I think that killed you. has been any indication when praying, that's pretty much going to do the opposite. There we go. With my experience, the worst thing I could say to you is I'll pray for you. God. Alright. I have prayed for exactly five people in my life. All five of them died within two weeks of me praying for them, and only one of them was sick. Yeah, don't a star piece, which is what we came back here for. I don't think That's there's anything. <clears throat> I don't think there's anything else. No. Now we can just keep going forward. There is a boss fight still in this area, but we can skip it because you have to go backwards through this area later, and it's probably better to just do it then anyway when you have a few more levels. <clears throat> across this <clears throat> and continue on our merry adventure. It's a potential boss fight if you want to fight him right now. <clears throat> Is there a way I can heal first? No. Okay. But you can skip him and come back to him later. What's your name? If you say Mario or Princess Peach, you fight him. If you say Luigi, you can skip him. Luigi. Uh, I reckon you can pass. You're not the brightest <laughs> feather in the chandelier, ain't ya? Well, I will say at least if you say Peach, he realizes that you're lying. Yeah. Like, oh yes, you're clearly wearing a giant pink dress. I guess you could also go back and fight him now, too, if you want to try. Yeah, I think I'll go ahead and try, and probably die trying. He know. does a lot of damage and a lot of stuff that for him is mashing A to mitigate the damage he does to you. I did fight him at this point, but it was, like, I still got pretty close to, to dying. So we'll just have to take this really slow. And think before pressing buttons. I nah. say as I press A repeatedly, trying to <laughs> As we're just hearing click, 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 click. Ignore the clicking. Okay. Yeah, shell shot is easily your best damage dealer here. 
See what I mean about an easier target to hit? Mash the A! Reduce the damage! Oh crap. Also, yes, that does damage your partner. Oh crap! Like I said, this guy does a lot of damage. <clears throat> You can also do this! Nice! So yeah, if it doesn't fall within that bar that you speed up, then you'll take damage, obviously. Yeah. You can also do that, or throw feathers at you like Ninja Stars. I think those are his four attacks. <clears throat> Really, the worst thing he can do is the win, because it, it will knock your party member out for at least a round, no matter what you do. I don't think there's any way even I could have gotten that, because that was like almost all the way to the right. Yeah, that was almost all the way to the right. Only one, though. Better? also not the end of the world anyway, because you are currently out of FP, so... And he's dead anyway! Nice! Yay! <laughs> he only gave 15 star points, and the blooper you fought that was arguably easier gave you 20. Yeah. Later, nerd. Woo! And he won't come back either, so you don't have to worry about fighting him whenever you come back. Nice. Of course, it'd be easier when you came back, because you probably have at least one more level by that point. I think I had like two, maybe even three. I feel like it could have been more than two though, because I actively avoided fights a lot. Probably. I've never done it, but it is possible to beat the game at level one. Oh it's very difficult, but it is entirely doable. Through mostly using repel gels to just make sure enemies can't damage you, period. So that's a lot of farming at, like, the, the pig farm thing. Mm -hmm. And now we're in the desert, which is just essentially a giant frickin' maze. Yay! Also, you should probably talk to those guys. Never. We're assisting prof Professor Colorado. I don't know why I struggled with Professor right there. Right now, we're waiting on the guy who hiked over to Dry Dry Outpost to try to bring back some information. Do you know the people of Dry Dry Outpost are descendants of the maker of the Dry Dry Ruins? What a cool thought, though. People have been living here and watching over the ruins for many generations. Not really. That's a pretty common thing to do, actually. Is that it? Is that on the idea? Or... Oh, that's wow. the idea. Colorado! Oh, 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 I have your thing. I got your letter! <clears throat> it's mine now. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. And it's from his wife. Need a star piece. Nice. Also, if you talk to him with Cooper, I think it gives you some additional dialogue because Cooper idolizes him. Sweet. But the big thing is, almost like probably uh, if there was fifty letters, I'd say like forty-seven of those fifty letters. When you deliver me, get a star piece for it. <clears throat> it's almost always the reward for doing that. Yeah, I never really expected to meet up with you on your own in the middle of an expedition. I want to be an archaeologist like you. Hello there. Cooper, it's been ages. So if you're serious about taking archaeology, you and I should go exploring someday. Anytime, really, for now, you've gone straight into
Once we're done saving Princess of Mushroom Kingdom and everything, you and I'll go explore it. Okay. Curses. Okay. Read that a couple more times, and then we can go. Okay. I'm going to assume the guide that we're lazily following, and I would agree for this, would be just keep going right and stay on that main path. Okay. I'm going to go real quick. Sorry. Ty texted me, and he's like, hey, so what's the plan? So I'm going to tell him where we are. Ah, and throw my phone. It's important. Okay, so there's two things they pick up that both aren't too bad. <clears throat> Almost done. Okay. So the first one is one screen north of this screen right here. How are you doing for items, by the way? Because this does take up a few item slots. Uh, I got a lot of items. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, eight's not bad. In worst case scenario, you can just toss the sleepy sheep because they kind of suck. Also, yeah, just try to avoid those guys as best you can. So that block right there, hit it with a hammer. Sleepy sheep. Okay, now keep hitting that block with the hammer. Uh... Probably just a mushroom, honestly. The FP is slightly more important. <clears throat> and the dizzy dial's not horrible, so. Alright, keep hitting away. Fifty, that's why. First it was once, then it was ten times, then it was fifty. Because nice. it's fifty HP. Ah. Alright, keep going. What? I don't think that counts. I think it actually does have to be from the side. This might be a while, so I'm gonna use the bathroom real quick. Meanwhile, how are y'all's days going? Yeah, you know, okay. How's your week been? Anything interesting happening at home? Have anything exciting coming up this weekend? Any plans? Hanging out with friends? I'll just, you know, be here for the rest of my life, but y'all can go out and do other things. Don't have to watch me hitting a block for 27 years, you know. Beat 
water. And there's only one cure. More cowbell. Ding, 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 ding. ding. That'd be a great time. Make yourself a cup of tea, drink some water if you haven't yet today. If you haven't eaten supper, go ahead and grab a couple bites. Do a little bit. Again, there are some things that happen that people have discovered that make me just kind of sit here and say, who discovered this? Who sat here and realized this? You know what I mean? Like, who sat here whacking this block however many times it requires to whack this block? Alright, I have returned. You can stop hitting that block now, that was just to fool you. There's no other in there. <laughs> uh, beautiful. In other news, I'm looking for a new best friend. <laughs> I'm taking applications. I figured that would have been your husband, but okay. Uh, whenever you marry someone, you love them more than anything, but also, they're not my best friend. And he realizes that, and that's okay. <laughs> you know, it really It's a different is. kind of urge to murder at times. Exactly. Like, you know. As you do. Alright, so we can go back south now. Since you went one screen north. We'll head back to the Oregon Trail. Maybe shoot some deer later. Get bit by a snake. Give you multiple options to treat it, none of which would be effective against a snake bite. Exactly. Hilariously enough, I think one time, based on the options it gave me, literally the best option to do about a venomous snake bite was uh, was nothing. Yeah. Because all the other ones were like, oh, even though you have no medical supplies, you should just amputate his leg completely, and it's Absolutely like that's not. just gonna make him bleed out, like probably less painful than slowly dying, but still. I mean, yeah, this might be the least painful death. But at that, at that point, just put a bullet in his head if you don't want him to suffer. Exactly. It's a traveler. You'll have a letter for him later, I think. And I believe if you go south from here, this will be, yep, this will be dry dry outpost. So if you go back, one screen and then down. Though you should probably check some items first. Oh, okay. oh is he gonna take off? Why, you dirty rat. Why are you Well, what are your stats right now? Is there anything you get to eat? Mm. Not you're full. Yeah, I'm not full. Well, it depends if you want to toss two items or do the quest first to get him back in the, the shop and then uh, store a bunch of stuff. Yeah, we can go ahead and try to do the quest. Okay. Is it super involved? No, not really. Alright, he ran off in this direction. So this way I shall follow. Oh. Now I should be back. I thought there was more to it, but that's a different guy. Oh, hey, that dude's there. 
Oh, guy with the hat. That's where you get the bulk of your star pieces from. And by the bulk, I mean 64. So yeah, the Ultra Shroom, obviously, because, like, you don't need 50 health. I'd say you probably get rid of one of your FP items, like one of the honey serps. <clears throat> That's probably good though. Five should be plenty. And unfortunately his shop's kinda crap. They don't really have anything good. The noodles are good for whenever you can like do combinations of stuff. But that's it. So go south one screen from here. <clears throat> and oh maybe two screens. Couldn't resist the allure. I wanted that at the box. I mean, you can fight them or you can run up to you. These enemies are kind of tough, admittedly. Because the pokies are spiked enemies, so they can only be hit by stuff like Shell Shot. What? Or you can miss. How did it miss? You didn't hit the head. Yeah, the bandits will try and take your money, and then, uh, if they keep the coin, then they'll leave, so you have to attack them to make them drop it. Because <clears throat> it just shows a coin, it's actually ten. right there. Yep. <laughs> so, if you'd rather skip this fight, you can try running away. Which is under strategies. For either character, I don't think it matters which. But you do have to mash the A. It's like with the bird of trying to get it. The only difference is it's a lot more forgiving than the bird, because it doesn't start you at nothing. And then you retreat! Welcome to the Oasis, where there's trees you can hit for items. Yum. If you, like, leave that section and come back in, it'll respawn it. Oh, yeah. Very fitting for an Oasis. I can't throw much in the bushes. Nope. But also... There's something to your left. It's a super block. With this, you can upgrade one of your party members. Nice. So they get one point in attack for all their attacks, and then they also get a new ability. Oh. And it will tell you what you get. So you have Charge for Gumbario, which will make his attack power go up. Dizzy Shell, which will paralyze enemies. It does not do damage. Bombette is Power Bomb, which will attack all the gr enemies on the ground, and Paracarry is Airlift to carry an enemy from battle. <clears throat> I kind of really like the Power Bomb. I'd say for me it's either Bombette or Paracarry because of the extra point in power. Yeah. Because that will make his regular attack, if you can land it, do three. Mm -hmm. And it'll make Shell Shot do six. That's a point. 
Also, I think there's at l I know for a fact there's one more of these inside of the second dungeon, and there might be two. They give them to you pretty frequently, so much so that I ran into one in Chapter 5, I think. And uh, I couldn't use it because I'd already upgraded all my members to super rank at that point. And I didn't have the thing for Hyper, so... <clears throat> I mean, if you want to go grab another set, you can, but I think you just need a lemon. Pretty sure it's the lemon. Yep. I know Koopa Koot, the uh, old grandpa Koopa in Koopa Village, does want a lime at some point. I know that is a favor for him, but the rest of it's probably just recipes. And bandits. Always bandits. You don't want to hit the block 50 times? No. Okay. Figured I'd, I'd figured I'd ask. Alright, what do we do with the loot? Okay, so what you're supposed to do, apparently, is there's a huge big quest, but we're going to skip most of it, is you're looking for a guy here that Colorado told you about, which is Mustafa, And that was the guy the shopkeeper was talking to. So, if you talk to uh, the Traveling Noni Mouse after you talk to this guy, then, uh, yeah, I don't know why somebody's knocking. Sorry, that's tight. Oh, okay, cool. Thanks for letting me know he was coming. Sorry, he's coming to get me some. Ah. Sorry, I thought I mentioned that. No! <laughs> Yep, so you talk to that guy. Alright. Someone who gives things is nice. Yes, very nice. Nice guys get told nice stuff. So I guess he wants a lemon? He wants a lemon, yeah. So if you don't give it to him, you talk to the traveling Noti Mouse. The Noti Mouse will say, Hey, you should, uh... I'm not gonna tell you the secret outright, but if you buy these two items from the shopkeeper, which I think is the Dusty Hammer and a Dried Shroom, then he will tell you, you need to give Mastafa a lemon, or you could just know that and just give him a lemon and not do any of that. Or waste the money buying the items that aren't very good. And so you want to do how to see Mastafa. Go to the shop. Oh, they're Dried actually going to force shroom, you. And then buy a dusty hammer. Okay, maybe I got this out of order then. Dried shroom and then dusty hammer. And that's all you, all you need. Yeah. yeah. Okay, now go back to where he was. Maybe you actually still don't have to do that. Might force you, might not. No, nope, he's still there. Okay, so you do actually have to do it. Uh, that's lame. You can also talk to that guy in the purple hat if you want. How are you at quizzes? Uh... You did it! Hey, a star piece. Nice. So this guy periodically will show up throughout the game. There is a way, and we'll probably do it towards the end of the game, of making him appear really easily, where he's got a, a set number of questions every time you finish a chapter of stuff that you've done throughout the chapter or around that chapter. So for chapter one, it's kind of also the prologue. <clears throat> Just making sure you're paying attention. Yep. Okay, and I want to buy... Okay, so I'm going to buy a dried And that's all you need. You can also sell those items back because they're both kind of crap items. 
Because the dried shroom is just one health and the dusty hammer you throw at an enemy as you would with hammer throw and it does one damage. So not really worth using a turn in battle for. In the background. Yep. Well, they probably can't hear them, but but we can. Oh, right. One other thing. Uh, that cr stack of boxes back there. Go back there and jump over the boxes. Angry baby noises. I was woken up early. <laughs> feeling jolly, feeling blue. I'm really you see that's me, a cuter guy you'll never see. I do magic, but not for free. Your luck has steered you well, for I'm a master of spell. When my spell upon you blows, you might get lucky, but who hey? Do you dare to take a chance? Do you want to watch my cards dance? Oh, how lovely, how good. Pick just now one. I agree, I would pick special. So remember in Thousand Year Door, like, you get the status effects where sometimes it's like, oh, this turn you're gonna do more damage, or you'll take less damage, or it will double your coins or your star points? Mm -hmm. That's this. Oh, wow. I bought the special course. It did not run out until I got halfway through Bowser's Castle. Yeah, it lasts a long time. It is well worth 50 coins. And it doesn't tell you what it is. Okay. It doesn't tell you what it does, but that's what it is. Like, it'll just do random things in battle. Nice. But they're always good for you, so. It will, unlike Thousand Year Door, actually tell you when it runs out. Which is weird that it didn't in Thousand Year Door, but it does here. It'll actually tell you after, like, the last spell it gives you. It'll be like, oh, and by the way, the spell is worn off. Ah, that's where the Noni Mouse letter is. And now it is time for what everybody's waiting for to get flashed by a mouse! Yay! You're by far the nicest guy. Alright. Because you gave him a lemon. And as a writer, that's very disturbing, because I know what that refers to in the writing sense. Yeah... A pulse stone. Yeah, so if you go talking around to anybody else in town that's not important, they'll basically mention this guy and be like, he knows how to get there. Hmm. So he gives you that, which is basically the key to unlocking the, uh, right. the area there. Once you actually get to the rinse, too, it's one of those things of, like, it starts flashing when you get closer to it. Or will slow down when you get farther away. <clears throat> nice. So, at this point, it is time to explore the desert. So you're gonna go up uh, to, or not up, you're gonna go to the left until you get to a screen that's gonna have a stone cactus. You probably saw it while you were walking through here. I did. <clears throat> oh, you can also give the letter to that guy, too, that you picked up just now. Oh, so he also tells you about where the, the lemons and limes are. Wee! Oh, no. Well, that's not where we wanted to be, so I'd say just keep going south till you find the road again. Because <coughs> the problem with the Tweesters is they send you to a random screen somewhere in the desert. One of them you actually do need to hit because it will send you to a specific spot, but it's not that one. So there's the cactus. So go south uh, three squares from here. Three, south three times? Yep, so that was one. Oh, 
Pokies! That's also why I like the spin, is you can get away from the pokies pretty easily. There should be a oh, right, and then you go uh, west, yep, that direction from there twice. So that was one. And then jump on that rock, and then jump again. Attack sound effect, and then you go north one from here, and then to the east three times. Or the right. But this is a good time to test, uh, what's his face? Yes, I agree, that thing. Not uh, Paracarry. That wasn't this... what I meant, but... Damn. Yeah. I thought I missed. I thought you missed, too. I love the face he makes when he fails. right before you get your next party member. Oh, yeah. Look at all the money! And all the honey. <laughs> and all the pokies. Damn it. I just wanted to get away. <laughs> you wanted that money, let's be real. That started with a good chunk of that bar, right? Yeah, it did. Okay. Is there a specific order that I need? No, I think it's just one of them is an actual block with coins in it and the others are fake. Might help if you stayed under it and then also hit the A button uh, long enough to actually jump high enough. That's probably a fake, yep. So many pokies. It'll stand out, yeah, because there's blue cacti, and there should also be a twister here, so you want to run into him. This is, yeah, this is the one time you actually want to run into the twister because he will always drop you here. That's the only way to get that badge. Okay. Uh, and then one screen to the north of this, and one to the east. Oh wait, no. This says one north and one east of the stone cactus. I don't know why they phrased it the way they did. Stone cactus is the other way. Also, they did not need a comma there. It's one screen north, comma, and one screen east of the stone cactus. They're doing what I do. They're using too many commas. Yep, one north, one east. And there should be a triangle of trees to the right. Just go in between all three of them and jump. Runaway pay! Let's Mario get star points in if he leaves the battle early. Uh, says so there's more minor treasures, we'll skip those. Um, so you're gonna want to go two north and two west from where you are right now. And one 
more north? I mean, you can't go any more north. Oh no, now he won't get to hear that infernal beeping anymore. Oh no. Ooh, pretty. Does he need help getting the thing down the stairs? I'm just gonna go ahead and tell him to leave the crib up here and I can take it. Well, I was also gonna say since you work tomorrow that this is a pretty good stopping point because there's a safe block and a hard block here. Yeah, it's not in the cutscene, but they are there. It's probably not a bad idea. I do work tomorrow. Ooh, something that's not colored specifically, just brown. Thank God. So yeah, the hard block's on the left, and then the same block is in the first room of this. Sweet. So, hard block, step one. You have disturbed the tomb! Tatan Koopa, remorseless king of the desert. Speak and be known. Be gone from this place. Do you want me to speak and be known, or do you want me to be gone? Like, you gotta make up your mind. <laughs> Alright. I am really enjoying this game. This game is... Honestly, the Paper Mario games thus far have probably been some of my favorite games. Just generally speaking, I'm, I like them a lot. I just wish the third one was good. <laughs> the story is really good. Like, the story's probably better than the first two games. It's just the gameplay is absolute garbage. Is that the one where all the colors are gone? Because I saw... Oh, that might be Color Splash, you're thinking of maybe. But I haven't played Color Splash. Hello Splash is the only one I don't own. Because, so, obviously I've played Thousand Year Door, and I'm playing this one right now. The only other one that I can think of off the top of my head, I saw a trailer for back when, I think we were watching, like, The Avengers. So this would have been, like, 2012 or something. And, or we were watching some kind of superhero movie. And there was this, um, there was this big trailer for a Paper Mario game, and it had something to do with colors. I guess it could have been Sticker Star, but I don't think it was. Because that one did come out in 2012, I'm checking right now. It might have been Sticker Star then. Would have had to been Super Paper Mario came out in 2007. Yeah, so it would have been Sticker Star. Yeah. Sticker Star is even worse than Super. Lovely. Uh, one person I know, Chugga Conroy, loves the Paper Mario series, and when someone asked him why he did not like Sticker Star, he wrote a 60-page essay on why he hated it. Oh my god. Keep in mind, this is a kid that barely passed high school. Oh my god. And that he did that much work to show why he hated it specifically. And I he's not wrong. From what I've played, he's not wrong either. It's pretty bad. God. It, it kind of falls, at least from what I saw in the basics, of the same problem that uh, Super does. Mm -hmm. Is Super divides each chapter into four worlds, and so it's like, oh, instead of being in like chapter one, you're in chapter one dash one, chapter one dash two. But they're not even connected areas. Ew. It's just like, oh, you finished this. Now the screen goes white and you go somewhere else. There's no connecting areas. And it doesn't feel like a story whenever it's yeah. that disjointed. Also, the partners don't really have much personality to them either, which is a big part yeah. of... Yeah. It's just like, oh, this guy is very angry all the time because he's a bomb bomb and that's it. And they only mention that in the intro and never anywhere else for him. It's just... I mean, and these guys, it's hard to have a ton of personality when you don't have a ton of dialogue, but like... There's a ton of dialogue in Super, though. It's just, it all goes to, like, three characters. Ah. Uh, 
There you go. And Mario doesn't talk, so. Mm -hmm. So it's obviously not him. It's like your your main party member ally that you use, which is annoying because there's invisible doors, and so you like point at the the doors. Because she'll be like, oh, I think there's something here, and then you'll point at the doors. Mm -hmm. So it's her, it's the big antagonist, and then uh, Peach. That's it. Peach has large chunks of dialogue? Why would you do that? Because anyone? Peach is a playable character. Absolutely not. And the only thing that can save it from making it a complete travesty is that so is Luigi and so is Bowser. Thank God. At least it's Bowser. <laughs> Bowser's actually really good because he does double damage. Damn. Yeah. Also, the leveling system's really different. Like, I'll probably show it to you, but we're probably not going to play it. That's fair. It's bad enough that at some point I'm going to be subjecting you to Mario Parties 9 and 10, so... Mm -hmm. But for now, we will go ahead and end it here, and next time, we'll be going through Dungeon 2. Indeed. I'll say the first two dungeons I'm not super big on. They feel kind of like... Every room kind of feels similar to the, the last one you were in. Yeah. But the third one doesn't. Uh, the fourth one definitely doesn't. Uh, the last one doesn't. Not Bowser's Castle, but Chapter 7 doesn't. Bowser's Castle doesn't. So I think it's really just primarily the first two. Hmm. Maybe a tiny bit in five. But that's about it. <coughs> and hopefully I won't be sick. Hooray! Woohoo! Got a little bit of time to feel better. <laughs> to purge it from my throat. Ugh. In the meantime, I'll probably do something else this week whilst I am on vacation. But until then, we will see you guys Saturday? Is it Saturday this week or is it Sunday? Sunday. I have. This is the last weekend of performances. And then oh, I was thinking D&D, &D, not performances. Oh, yeah. Well, it's also d and I'm doing a performance and then going straight to D&D. &D, oh, so God. I might be like... A zombie on Saturday, <laughs> on Sunday, but I will do my best. Better idea. Do the performance and don't go straight to D&D. &D. Go to Dutch Bros to get coffee and then go to D&D. &D. Exactly. Because you're probably going to need it. The unfortunate thing is I think it's going to be too late, but I can get an energy drink. I mean, Dutch Bros is open till 11. Is it? I thought they closed at like 7 yeah. for whatever reason. Nope. Pretty sure it's 11. Let me double check. I mean, it would make sense if it were 11 in a college, college town. I remembered... Yeah, 11. And that's on a Monday. So it might even be later on uh, other days. Oh, there you go. It's still technically open right now. That's it's bros. No. I love the, uh, I love how busy it is right now specifically, too. Yeah, because it's like, uh, it's decently busy at certain times and then insanely busy. Like, at, like right before they close. Something that busy. everyone needs coffee at ten thirty at night. That's also what every single person working in any service food otherwise hates is like, hey, are you guys open? I know I'm gonna place this big order like five minutes before you close. Oh yeah. Or they just like lurk outside the doors that you've already locked, and they just stand there, and it's like, all right, I'm gonna have to walk past you to get out of here, and I'm not gonna like it, and you're gonna get mad at me whenever I don't do whatever for you. Exactly. But the doors locked. Also, side note, by some miracle, we did not drop a single frame during that entire three hours. Damn. That is definitely a first. That's pretty impressive. 